My mic is muted the whole freaking time. <laughs> what is going on, everybody? Lieutenant Gould here. I hope you guys are having a good day today. Um, today we are going to be going over our week 11. Yes, 11 of the PBR. Um, second to last week already. This uh, this season went by pretty fast at first, then definitely slowed down. Um, and I feel like now the last few weeks are just flying by. Uh, we did take a forfeit loss, unfortunately, against Die Tight. Uh, last week which be realistically speaking was probably actually better for us uh, because we take a 3-0 loss rather than getting you know beat up in the dirt 6-0 so uh, yeah but a lot of RL issues uh, that went down we just weren't able to catch up and make up the game figured and and I was really really nice about it he he tried to make time and and everything so I, I feel like it was more uh, it was more appropriate for him to have the win because he was really nice about everything and you could see the team on the right hand side which you're not supposed to um anyways um yeah so we're gonna be battling og albina uh which we have battled before um <laughs> with this very como set uh for the ibl of last season um his team is and you you you've been able to see this for a good minute or so now uh he's gonna have zarud pelipper kingdra reuniclus silvalli the blade Crooks, uh, Toxic Croak, Sinchino, Stunfisk, and Clefairy. Um, so Rain, first of all, we know first and up, you know, how um, effective and strong and and hard to switch into Rain is thanks to our IBL team. If you guys haven't watched that out already, definitely do so. We've been doing, we've been killing it over there. Uh, Reuniclus is very th very thick and fat. Uh, it's gross. The valley can be any type. Dublade is the baby version of our mascot. Uh, Toxic Rogue is a great uh, water um, immunity and actually has a lot of setup options since she knows a pain in the ass. Stunfisk is uh, a Stunfisk. <laughs> his is Rock Cutter, basically. Uh, and then Clefairy is his fairy type, so he doesn't really have the greatest fairy type unless he brings Silvalli Fairy, which. Actually, he could potentially bring against my team. Uh, and of course, Zarud. I uh, can't uh, miss out on Zarud. Um, Pokemon that is not released yet. I think it has like base 105 attack and speed and pretty good bulk. Otherwise, I can pull that up if I need to. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be his team. I can go over my team here, which is going to be the Aegislash, the Como, Rotom Heat, Gavantulet, Serena, Drapion, Mudzel. <laughs> Pasculin, Mr. Mime, Galore, and Wiggly. Tough. Um, I'm trying to find Zarud somewhere on Showdown. Uh, yeah, 120 attack. Goodness gracious. 105 defense, 105 speed, uh, 95, uh, oh, 105 HP as well, and 95 speed F with 70 special attack. Cool. So it's a pretty bulky Pokemon, actually. It's very, very bulky. That's, like, that's very good overall uh stats too bad it doesn't really have the best uh doesn't have the best ability in leaf guard um but anyways enough of that i opened the wrong thing um but yeah that's gonna be his team slash my team and we're gonna go over what i'm bringing uh so i am officially out of playoffs uh, i am not able to make playoffs anymore which is kind of unfortunate but also allows us to bring some fun sets um, <laughs> which we kind of brought this week, kind of not. I started making fun sets, and then I realized that I kind of wanted, wanted to win this game, uh, so I made half fun sets. <laughs> but next week, we're bringing full-on memes versus Patty Trails. Full-on memes. Uh, but anyways, enough of that. Th th enough of that. Uh, so we have Como with uh, <laughs> Sub Belly Drum Drain Punch Earthquake. I uh, <laughs> last time I played him. I 6 0 him with this very set. Uh, I just kind of tweaked the speed, uh, but I didn't realize that I messed up the HP here. Let's just go ahead and. Oh, we have floating EVs now. Oh, that's the worst. Fuck it. Uh, but yeah, I accidentally uh, messed up this red, but. It's, it's, it is what it is. Um, Slagberry is going to be for a speed boost, so that way we can sub and belly drum, and then get the speed boost will be plus 6 attack, plus 1 speed, and we could drain punch and get our health back. Um, speed, and I have my notes here, I'm going to pull out. It's going to be max, max speed Pelipper, uh, slash for uh, Senshino, which is fast forward with, with a boost, assuming he is not... Um, 
scarf. The special attack is a for uh, Clefairy, so I live a Moonblast if he's uninvested Clefairy, and I also live a Psychic from Reuniclus, I believe if it's semi-offensive, I believe. I think it's like no special attack life orb or something like that. Um, so that's going to be that spread. Um, this is just a great, great late game sweeper. Um, if I can get a sub pretty early on actually and belly drum up, uh, that would be great because then I could kill the Kingdra uh, with Drain Punch. Um, I do need the Reuniclus kind of chip down. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to put Iron Head. <sighs> Sorry guys, I wanted to put Iron Head instead of Earthquake, but then I couldn't touch the, um, the Dew Blade all that well, so I definitely needed Earthquake. Um, but I think this, this spread is going to do fine. One thing I think he's going to bring is either Silvalli Bug or Silvalli Fairy. Bug because uh, it resists both of this spreads. I know it doesn't resist it both its stem. I guess Fairy would be better. Yeah, Fairy would probably be better because he has an actual Fairy type that way. Um, but yeah. Anyways. Next we have Buddy the <laughs> Mime Galar with the Quick Law with Freeze Drive, Baton Pass, Foul Play, and Psychic. Now, I gotta give a big shout out to JB if you guys haven't watched his last couple videos. He's been running Quick Claw on everything. And I was like, you know what? Why not make Mime <laughs> Mr. Mime Quick Law? Because A, it's a meme, and B, it looks phenomenal against this team. But it doesn't outspeed everything it wants to outspeed. So it doesn't outspeed things like Kingdra and Rain. Doesn't outspeed Zarud. Um, if Toxic Rock is Scarf, it doesn't outspeed it. Um, so I just figured I'll run a quick call and I'll just outspeed the Kingdra uh, when the time is right. I have a 20% chance to outspeed the Kingdra and knock it out with Freeze Dry. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I'm really excited for this. Speed is going to be for the Silvalli, of course. Um, the see, I, I made very minimal notes for this. The defense, I believe, is for a Sucker Punch from Toxic Rook. Um, and I always kill with Psychic. Yes, that sounds accurate. Uh, but Baton Pass is going to be so that way we get a Baton Pass on out. Priority Baton Pass thanks to Quick Law. Uh, Foul Play is going to be for things like Do Blade. Um, so Valley, I guess, um, and just other things in general, but buns were being clicking majority of the time is going to be freeze, right? Or psychic. I just, honestly, I cannot wait for me to not prob the quick law ever. And then for, for, for it to be Kingdra versus Mr. Mime and for me to just prob the, the quick law and knock out the Kingdra. That's <laughs> on the Kingdra. That's going to be the funnest thing ever. That's, that's what I'm really excited about. Uh, I really hope that happens because that'll be really freaking funny. Anyways, <laughs> next up we have uh, the Basculin uh, with Expert Belt, Adaptability, Flip Turn, Liquidation, Psychic Fang, Ice Fang. Um, Speed for Sinchino, which uh, doesn't sound right for some reason. Um, Sinchino, yeah, that does not sound right whatsoever. I don't know why I put that. Um, I think maybe I'm an Adam at Sinchino. Uh, if not, then it's probably looking like Silvalli. That's looking like Sivali and I just rose in Chino because I made this team at like 2 a.m. Uh, but Expert Belt, just so that way, I wanted to bring Life Orb, but I didn't want to be well down. Um, and I mean, if, can you. And I, I, I really thought about maybe bringing a, a water boosting uh, item. So that way, it, can you imagine like adaptability, liquidation, and the rain plus a, a water, mo water boosting mo uh, item? how much damage it would have done it yeah it would have done a lot of damage uh, but I decided to be e-built just because I could kind of hit his team pretty effectively all around uh, things like liquidation not, not everything wants to take it Psycho Fang is great for the Toxic Rook which would normally be a switch in for this Ice Fang is great for the Zarud and then I'll just click stab liquidation adaptability rain boosted uh, in the face of his entire team and hopefully win um, <laughs> yeah uh, that's gonna be pretty much the game plan for good old Basklin here. Next up we have Choice Spec Wigglytuff. Um, I like how it's spelled Wiggly with two big G's on both the Pokemon and the nickname. That's funny. Uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> cut that, cut that out.
There you go. All fixed. Um, cool. So yeah, specs Wiggly Tough with Hyper Voice, Thunder, Dazzling Beam, and Flamethrower. I realize, you know what? Fuck it. Will be specs. It'll be fucking fun. I can, you know, do big dick damage to things like Reuniclus, to things like Kingdra, um, to things like not Toxic Rogue, <laughs> Zarud potentially. Uh, Hyper Voice is really, really spammable because he doesn't have a uh, Ghost type other than Dublade, and Dublade does not want to take a Flamethrower. Uh, Thunder for Rain, of course. Um, yeah, speed is going to be for no speed Pelipper. Uh, I think I kind of over creeped it as well, just in case, uh, but I might be wrong. Um, like I said, I made this team quite a bit ago. Uh, no, it's for no speed Pelipper. Cool. Uh, yeah, for no speed Pelly. Um, just in case he wants to be like a max bold Pelipper for some reason, this would allow me to not speed it. Um, and then just go for Hyper Voice, Thunder, Dazzling Gleam, whatever. Just be in there, do big damage. I haven't brought offensive Wiggly Tough yet, so I figured might as well. Uh, if anything, this is the week for it, so, yeah. Next up, we have Hexblade, the Aegislash, of course, with Weakness Policy, King Shield, Shockwave, Shadow Ball, and Shadow Sneak. We're going to be pretty bulky on the Fist of side with max HP, 20 defense, bold, 168 special attack, and 68 speed. Uh, literally, in my notes, wrote down, wanted to run Shockwave. So that is the only reason I brought this Pokemon, it seems like. That's what Tired Dorian thought about um but the speed is going to be seems like it's similar as a wigglytuff it's for at speeding um a pelipper plus a little bit of creep just in case uh, but shockwave oko's pelipper always unless he is max hp max defense a cell vest otherwise he dies which is great uh king shield is going to be good because he, he has a lot of physical threats like the zarud like uh potentially kingdra if he wants to be banded Cell Valley, Dublade, Toxic Croaks, and Chino. Um, a lot, a lot of physical threats. So we really want to make sure that we lower their attack. And then on the next turn, they go for something, I'm assuming, super effective. Um, and we're going to be able to uh, prop our weakness policy and go ahead and go ham. Uh, I was going to bring Shadow Attack at first, but realized that, you know what? We'll just go ahead and bring weakness policy, and that's going to be that. Um, this is also a great Toxic Croak switch in. I don't know if it gets knockoff. Um, that's probably something I should have looked at before the game. Um, it does get knockoff. So it's not that great <laughs> of a Toxic Croak switch in, um, but it's it's something. I mean, it's it resists both of its stat, which is pretty nice. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be Age of Slash here. Next, we have Drapion. I forgot about this set. <laughs> Drapion with Acupressure, Fling, Knockoff, Poison Jab. Uh, speed is going to be for the base 80, so things like Toxic Rogue um, and Kingdra. Not in the rain, of course. Uh, with Acupressure, because I didn't know what else to put. It. And Fling, which is uh, TR09, is I believe Thunderbolt. Uh, so I could Fling <laughs> things like the Pelipper or the Kingdra <laughs> and, and, and just do damage that way. <laughs> uh, we have Acro Pressure just to get a random uh, stat boost. Hopefully it's things like speed or attack because that's the two we need. Or evasion, because why not? Uh, knock off a poison jab, um, just great dual stab. Uh, it's also really good for Ray Nicholas, although this is probably not the best answer for it now that I think about it. Um, but yeah, that's going to be the team. I uh, hope you guys are excited for kind of the more fun-ish sets that we're going to be bringing, which are not full-on memes, just more laid-back sets that I thought would be interesting to to bring versus our good friend um, OG Albina. We'll see you guys tomorrow for the battle. See ya!